Hey guys, welcome back. If you're looking for your settings for Warzone Pacific, the brand new Warzone map, brand new Warzone game, it has changed a little bit. The settings have changed a little bit and we are adjusting it accordingly. So we're gonna hop right into the game settings and we're also gonna work into the window settings as well. I'm still trying to decide if I like the new map or not. I'm really iffy about it. We'll see as time goes on. I'd be curious to see what you guys think of the new map. I know a lot of my followers here are Rainbow Six Siege fans, but I know a lot of the Rainbow Six Siege community is migrating to games like warzone apex battlefield etc so hopping into these settings not much has changed from if you've ever watched a warzone video but this is just going to be the baseline we want our display mode always on full screen monitor correct monitor all the obvious stuff obviously put your screen refresh rate at the maximum if you can make sure that it's on maximum even in your windows as well 100 resolution this has not been resetting for me in the new Pacific. I don't know what they changed, but it's not resetting every time I reset the game like some others do sometimes in the old previous version of the game. This thing went down to like seven or something and you would have the worst quality. It would look like the left side. That uh, If that ever happens to you, that's this setting right here. Dynamic res, have that off. This uh, doesn't matter because it's off. Aspect ratio, this is gonna be 16.9 most likely for you, but just put it automatic, it'll do it for you. Disabled custom frame rate. We don't want this capped in most situations. My brightness is very very specific but this is the brightness that i use it is fairly bright you want it to be a little bit brighter than the barely visible definitely but those are definitely not going to affect your fps very much here none of these really are um it's all going to be in the quality graphics. So we have to go over to the other tab to the right. So go over to this quality tab and field of view. So I've been playing on controller, so I don't have it maxed out. I have it at 115. I don't really know yet. I've been playing this game on controller. It's been interesting. I usually play on M and K. If I was playing on M and K, that'd be 120 for sure. Camera movement. I would put this on at least definitely put this on least. Actually, if you have it on anything higher, it's going to be real shaky. This is really going to help First of all, if you have motion sickness, that's what they made it for, but it's really going to help your movement as well. The camera shake does not help in any way, so I would test this out for yourself. Once again, not an FPS thing, but it does affect you. As for the settings, so I've noticed a lot of people, they don't test these at all. They just go all low or all high or all whatever. A lot of these settings will not actually affect your FPS much and people just don't touch them. I have tested these all, the ones that are on anything other than low don't have a huge effect. So we have streaming quality at low. This one will have a big effect on your uh, on your RAM usage, VRAM usage. Now texture resolution, it says it has a huge effect on your VRAM usage, but that's really when you get to high. Everything else is pretty much the same, especially FPS. So I put this on normal to make the game look good. Texture filter, have this on low. This is the low details, you don't need them. They kind of just distract you if anything. Particle quality, this is not gonna affect your FPS. You might as well put this thing on high. If you're really pushing FPS from a very low end PC, then you're gonna wanna put this on low. Same thing with bullet impact and sprays. It's not gonna affect your FPS much. I just find it distracting sometimes. So I keep it disabled. Your FPS really not gonna change that much, but I keep it on disabled anyways. Tessellation. If you want all the textures to look all good and real, then maybe have this on, but this is gonna hurt your FPS for sure. I would put on near if anything, otherwise you're gonna have a huge FPS hit. And even worse is if you don't have anti-aliasing on, these little jags that it makes, it's just gonna be very jaggy instead of smooth rocks. It's gonna be very jaggy. So I just have it disabled. Let's just keep it simple here. Disembarment, dismemberment and gore effect. So this is a, uh, say you nade someone, they'll blow up into a million pieces. That's not gonna happen. I don't know if this affects your FPS, but I just have it off. It's distracting. So I set on demand texture streaming at standard. This solely makes the game look better. As for an FPS hit, I have saw a difference between like five and 10, which in turn is like a percent, maybe a half percent to 2% there of a FPS drop. I don't see much of an issue with this. So I just kept that thing on standard. Filmic strength here, I have the set zero, grain zero, anti-aliasing also off. So this says right here that you, you should have this at one if you don't have anti-aliasing on. However, I have not I have not seen any visual noise issues. If you do, then maybe set this at one. I just like it at zero for now, or just turn on your anti-aliasing of at least up one. If you don't like the jaggy edges, then put it at this one X, but it will affect your FPS slightly, very slightly. Depth of field, this will blur your weapon and just make you kind of focus on that middle dot. I want this on disabled. I've gone back and forth with this one, but disabled. Motion blur, obviously have this thing off. Weapon motion blur, obviously have that off. You don't want any of these. It's just absolutely ridiculous. This shouldn't even be a setting. Just makes you dizzy, if anything. Shadow map resolution, you don't need this on anything above low. If you want to, you can, but these, if you put this on extra or high, you have lost your mind. This is going to kill your FPS. It's gonna be the perfect jaggy 
shadows the best shadows you've ever seen that are completely useless low versus extra there's not much of a difference if you look at the pictures so i just keep that thing on low literally no reason to go any higher as for as for the cache here we want these both on enabled this is going to help your fps it's gonna speed up future frames if you have a really low npc this might not work but if you even have a decent pc keep this on enabled enabled particle lighting i have this on low on the occlusion low or disabled not low disabled on screen space reflection and then everyone that's on nvidia you'll see like a nvidia boost section somewhere here you're going to want that on enabled plus boost i am on amd right now so that is not a option but that'll uh, increase your clarity by a lot so i'd recommend doing that for sure as for your audio this might just be personal preference but boost low has worked really well so far in this as well so this is how i had it in warzone the original warzone and pacific it's the same sound I believe so you don't really have to worry about that i think it's the same exact thing so i just kept that boost low i have the master volume super low because this game is ridiculously loud i also have a mixer so uh don't copy that version of it and then everything else is just preference ultimately controller i have been playing controller uh you do not want to take these settings but here are the settings that i'm rocking with uh i have not been having the best luck with controller I might be going back to mk i don't know i wanted to give it a chance though and it has not been the greatest of experiences but yeah if any of you guys main controller let me know what your settings are i do need to understand what these settings are a little bit better the dead zones and stuff so please let me know on that but let's get into the windows settings so i don't like to go crazy in these settings if you've ever watched a settings video from me i don't like to go crazy in the windows settings i'm not going to get in your config files i'm not going to mess up anything we're not downloading anything because i personally would not want to do any of those things so we first of all start off with the game mode Game mode works very, very well on NVIDIA and sometimes not so well on AMD. Sometimes it's a different game for me. AMD is very iffy with the game mode. So you have to test it with that. But NVIDIA, I think it's always better. You're always going to get like one to five FPS, which isn't huge, but it's something. It's just turning off the background apps. It's just doing all that stuff. But the main thing we're going here is graphic settings. So we go here. We hit browse and you just got to find the game wherever your war zone is. For example, this Vanguard, you just click this, you'd hit this, you do options and then you'd hit high performance mode. And there you go. The only time you don't want this is if you are trying to record on like OBS or something. I'm sure most of you guys aren't trying to record on OBS or anything like that. It'll definitely mess up your recording quality. I've learned it uh, from my own experience. So I remove it because I do record. But those are two very easy things that will not you know hurt anything the only other thing i would do is turn off background apps make sure your task manager is very clear so some things you could do here is hit performance to see how you're doing if your um, memory is very high it's probably because one of these is taking up a lot of it that isn't the game for example i have obs open all these guys anything like over 100 should be something you're looking at all these other things are just background apps like a million different background apps that add up to like two percent the main ones are going to be the game of course way to get some of these off if you are just overwhelmed with these is just go startup and turn these uh put these all at disabled for startup the only things you want at startup are things that are controlling your peripherals like this for me controls the mic or lg hub controls my keyboard and mouse so everything else is just disabled so that's how i rock with it but those are some easy windows settings they get you a few fps additional to the settings we already touched on i get very good fps in the pacific war zone let me know if this helped. Let me know if there's anything I should have changed, especially with the controller settings, because those aren't the best ever. But just let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video, though. Have a great one. Peace.